Hello everybody, my name is Katie Parrott and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're seeing this, you've probably come from my Instagram, so you probably know who I am. But for those of you who don't, I'm a 25 year old plus size fashion influencer and body activist. I'm an advocate for normalizing bodies of all sizes and, um, and advocating for respect and rights for people who are, you know, bigger than the average, whatever that means. Uh, I have been talking about starting a YouTube channel for quite a few months and I have always kind of come up with one excuse or another. I don't have the good equipment, I don't have lighting, um, but I've just decided, you know what, let's give this a red hot crack. So that's what I'm going to do. I apologize if the video quality is not so good, if the sound quality is not so good, I was just really excited to um, give this a go and see if there's interest out there for some longer form content from me. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, today's video, I am really excited. I just got my order from Seems Friendly. Now, this is a brand that I uh, haven't really heard many people talking about. I think they're quite new. Um, I, you know, I haven't seen them around the trap. They haven't been doing like the usual influencer thing. Um, but I was really drawn to their clothes. They're made of like natural fibers and really bright colors. And I was particularly drawn to the fact that it's kind of a customizable product. So they are one of the most size inclusive brands that I personally have seen online. Um, I think they go up to something pretty gnarly, like at least a 10 XL. Um, and they also go down as well. So they do smaller sizes, but the thing that I really like about them is that you place your order and then you get an email saying, you know, could you please confirm your measurements with us? So I was able to give seems friendly my height, my bust, my weight and my hips. And from that I got my parcel. So I don't know heaps about this brand. Um, I know that their marketing is based around ethics and sustainability. There are smaller companies, the vibe I'm getting. Um, they manufacture everything like specifically for you, as I mentioned, to your size. And um, they are an Indian company. So this parcel did take quite a while to get to me here in Australia uh, because it was coming from Jaipur. So I just thought we could unbox, I could try everything on and maybe give you some insight into a company that you haven't heard of before. So right off the bat, packaging I love. I don't know if you can see, but in the box, we've got a cute little canvas reusable bag. I am really big on reducing my plastics at the moment. So anything that is not coming with heaps of additional plastic is really good in my book. Now I did buy four items. I bought a dress, a jumpsuit, some trousers and a top. So that's kind of good. We've got three outfits. I just wanted to try a little bit of everything. And those are also the things I wear the most. Um, oh, cute. Yeah. So they've written me a little card. Nice to meet you. Thanks for shopping ethical. We make a great team and together we can inspire others to build a better world. Seems friendly, doesn't it? Ah! <laughs> That's really cool. It's because it's spelt seems like... It's spelt seems like... Like clothing... Anyway, okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, I don't remember exactly how much my order came to because... Uh, the pricing on the invoice is in Indian rupees, which makes sense. Uh, but from memory, it was around the $200 mark. I'll put in how much it was up here. And um, I had a discount. They have like a 20% off your first order. So I think that's really cool. So I have two of these bags. It says, seems friendly. I'm here to stay. And I will definitely be reusing these. Okay, so first up um, is this pink jumpsuit. I really like that it gives you a little bit of information about um, the fabric on the tag. So 
It is 100% cotton. This fabric is hand spun, hand woven, azo free dyed. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll just try it on and see how I feel. It looks really cute. Like I'm excited about the color. So let's see how we go. Okay, we're not off to a great start. Uh, as you can see, this does not fit me. Um, that is a little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I can't, I can kind of button it up over my, um, you know, bottom half, but not over the top. And it is way too small over my arms. Like I'm gonna rip this thing if I try and button myself into it. Let's talk about the good things. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the pants are actually, the bottom half is really nice. So the pant legs come to a really nice spot on me. They're kind of like ankle and um, like weirdly, because normally I struggle with the bottom half of things, but I actually feel like the bottom half of these fit okay. Top half, like it's just not happening fam. Um, I feel like I'm gonna bust out of these seams at any, like look at, look at how tight that is. <laughs> Um, and this just like, I could squish myself into it, but who wants to do that? No one. So first item, bit of a fail. I'm not sure what their returns policy is, but it's got to go back to India. So anyway, I will maybe insert something in the end about the returns policy. Otherwise, I guess I'll probably sell it on to somebody else. Fingers crossed the next one is better. Next up from um, that first bag. Oh, annoying piece of hair. Stop it. I'm considering growing out my fringe, so I'm just toying with this style. Um, <laughs> next out of that bag are these kind of peachy pink trousers. I'm already really excited about this design. So the back is elasticated but the front is sewn flat. Now that is definitely a preference of mine. Sorry, I'm not used to this YouTube thing because I keep looking at the screen and not at the lens. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like it when it's got a flat front. I think it makes a pant look kind of dressier, something I'm maybe more comfortable to wear to work. And it has got ties so you can tighten it, but they are sewn into the front. So you're not going to have to deal with that thing where like you tie it around your waist and then it, like comes out of the loops so or is pulling up, all that kind of thing. Um, again, you've got your label here. It's got the order number and all that info. And again, it tells you, you know, these are 100% cotton. Um, and again, as free dyed, though, I don't know what that means. So these are the pants and then I'm gonna pair them with this top now, right off the bat, this is a little different than I was expecting, but that is pretty normal, I guess. You know, always like photos on a website can't always convey what a top's going to be like. So it's a super cropped little number. Oh, I see. Okay, so it has some elastic around the waist and buttons, which I think are, yeah, buttons are functional. Um, this top... This top doesn't have the, the card, let me pull out. This one doesn't have the card with like the fabric info, which doesn't matter necessarily, but just something interesting. Um, and it has these cute little ties in the front that have got like shells on them, which I think is cute. And I guess you can, yeah you can open and wear however you want. So I'm gonna try on this top with those pants. I don't know how they'll look together. I imagined it a little different, but um, yeah, let's see. So I feel like things are better, but there are still some issues. Let's talk about what I like first. I really like these pants. So I think you can kind of see my underwear line in them a bit, but whatever it's okay they fit me really nicely they feel comfortable they feel roomy I really like the color of the fabric I like the waist it feels comfortable these are like these are good pants 
I like these pants. They have pockets. <laughs> these are a winner, I'm pretty sure. I might need to look at them a little bit more closely in a mirror, but I feel positive about them. The top. Again, feels a little weird that they took my measurements, but this top doesn't, I mean, it fits technically, but I don't know if you can see, like, this is meant to be the stretchy bit under, like, at my waist, I'm pretty sure, or, like, under my boobs. Instead, it's sitting, like, it's sitting right on top of my boobs. Like, that's just really unflattering. I want to love this top so badly, but I just don't feel like that looks good. You know, it... And then you've got these two strings. Let me see the other one. You've got these two strings, which I don't know if they're meant to be like tied around the neck like this, or whether they tie up at the back as a like back feature. I think if I keep this, I'll just cut those off. But to be honest, again, the, these weren't super cheap, which is I'm totally happy with because, you know, they were custom made for me. But it also, they don't fit me that well. So I don't know if I'll keep this or if I'll sell it on to somebody else. Yeah, I'm not sure. And to finish up my selections from Seems Friendly, I have this white dress. I got this because I thought it would be really nice to take to Thailand on my upcoming holiday. So fingers crossed. Um, so this one again, it's hundred percent cotton and it is hand embroidered. I should have mentioned, but, um, all of the like links and the information will be in the description bar. Um, it looks really pretty. It's, a, it's very wide as in like, I think it's, it's meant to be oversized. And I like that because they took my measurements. Often when you get oversized things, when you're plus size, what it means is it just fits you properly. Whereas this looks like they've actually factored the extra give into it being a plus size cut. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And it's got this cute little seam ruffle and it has um, side ties. So I will pop this one on and see how I go. Okay, this is the best of the lot without a doubt. But it's not without its problems. Let's talk about the good things first. It fits me, so that's great. <laughs> It has pockets, which is always a great feature. The skirt is lined, so you've got two layers in a skirt, and I always think for white clothing, that's a bit of a must. And it obviously does fit me everywhere. And you've actually got a, a tie on either side of the waist, which like draws it in to fit you however you want. And then it's kind of like a cute detail with the little tassels. So there's a lot of things to like about this dress. I feel like there's not quite enough length here in the torso. So rather than this hitting me at my waist, which is here, the the ruffle hits me right under the bust. And again, almost sitting partially on top of the bust. To get it to fit properly, I need to like pull it all the way down in the front or just kind of be willing to have it sitting up like this, which is fine, it's a cute look but it doesn't kind of give you that like cinched waist, cute look with all of the fabric flowing, which I kind of wanted. Uh, if these were untied, I'll just untie them. And you can see you're getting more of a baby doll shape. And this is probably a bit more flattering in my opinion than what I had going on before with it tied up. So that's the three outfits. Let me give you my final thoughts. So that was my Seams Friendly try on. I was hoping to have a bit more of a positive video for my first video. Um, but that's the beauty of the live try on. You know, I purchased all these garments myself, but even if they were given to me, I mean, if things didn't fit, I would tell you because can't really hide that. <laughs> uh, I think this dress and the pants are the, are the clear winners. Um, I'm not sure about this dress. I'm going to have to like go away and try 
these are the pants on and just make a decision about whether I want to keep them. I think I probably will keep this white dress. I do really like it. Um, but here's my, here's my thing. If you're going to be, make a point of taking your customer's measurements and being, you know, size inclusive, you do need to do it right because I don't want to wait. I think I waited three weeks. Hang on. I ordered this on the 6th of February and today is the 28th. So I waited three weeks for this to arrive. Now, I don't mind that because it was coming from India. It's coming from Jaipur. So I understand. But, you know, you're waiting three weeks. The garments aren't cheap because they're custom made. Again, that's fine. I, I would prefer to pay more for, for a custom, ethically produced, sustainably produced garment. But if it doesn't fit you properly after you've given them your measurements, I just feel like that's a bit of an issue. So I am going to say tentatively recommend. I suspect if you're on the slimmer side, this might work really well for you. If you're a plus size gal, I'm not sure how confident I am like recommending you go out and spend all your money with them. Go have a look and maybe if there's something you like, give it a go. But yeah, I mean, I've definitely got like, definitely one, probably two items that I am going to be looking into returning. And I will put some information in the next, like at the end of this video about that whole process. So this was my first video on to Interseams Friendly. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been informative and you, you know, have gotten a bit more information about this new brand. Again, I wish it had been more positive, but maybe this will be kind of a first step towards them getting some improvements in their garments. So I will see you guys next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be more videos like this coming, hopefully more positive videos coming. <laughs> And I can't wait to kind of explore this YouTube thing with you all. Hello, this is follow up Katie from a few days later. Uh, I emailed Seems Friendly about the order and they were very apologetic. And they said, yes, we can, we'll happily give you a refund and we will pay for the return shipping. So I'm just waiting on a follow up email with my shipping information. Um, they also were very much like, we would like to learn uh, and grow um, and about how we can provide clothing for diverse bodies. And if you would be willing to provide us with your, with more detailed measurements, we'd like to remake the garments for you, um, send them to you with, and then if you like them, you can pay for them. But, um, I had like already mentally let go of those clothes uh and i'm just gonna take the refund um but i think that it was really good that they proactively suggested that they could uh remake them for me that they wanted to improve um their service so that was really good uh i haven't gone through like i haven't returned them yet because i'm waiting to get the email and how to return them um but I will update in the description bar if there are any like issues with the return. I'm kind of not anticipating that there will be. So yeah, that's my little follow up on the returns process. It seems pretty straightforward and not a great outcome, but equally not a bad outcome. Bye.